For me, Red Bull Hardline is the most difficult downhill track there is. Designed to push the boundaries of what can be done in downhill racing. I think everyone's initial reaction is, is, is this even possible? It's fast, it's rocky, it's long, there's jumps, there's road gaps. Really everything you could want in a downhill track. There's no other course that challenges the riders like this. 2014 was the first year Hardline was on. This year's definitely stepped it up that extra bit. It's bigger and faster and rougher. Dan came into the Welsh countryside here and literally looked for the biggest, gnarliest, rockiest mountain he could find and decided to put one of the world's most difficult downhill tracks down it. He was up here testing the track and was unfortunate enough to have a big crash. Oh, oh. It meant he couldn't race. Last year was frustrating for me, you know, I punched it in the final, but it's definitely made me want to push that bit extra this year. Dan has built this track and I do feel a pressure to try and do well on it. The guys here racing this weekend are, are guys that really want to push hard, see what can be done on a bike and really challenge themselves. It's going to be scary, but I think it's the same for everyone, really. Really uh, a huge step forward for the sport. It's proven what can be done on a mountain bike. You turn up and you're like, wow, I'm in the middle of nowhere, and there are some huge hits. I'm pretty scared. <laughs> Hardline is definitely pushing the limits. It's setting a precedent. Definitely an exciting race to be part of. I've heard a lot of people say this is the hardest thing that they've ever seen. I think everyone just wants to get on their bikes and um, get some riding done now, really. First run. The first few runs, everyone's riding in a group. I think that's super important because everyone's in the same boat. Everyone needs to hit these big gaps and, and tackle these sections, but no one's done it before. It's really cool seeing everyone kind of pushing the others on and everyone kind of plays off each other. All this stuff's bigger, higher, faster than what we usually do. I've probably done two of the biggest jumps I've ever done. I did have quite a big crash. It wasn't the most pleasant landing, but it was worse. Everyone here is just stepping up to it. And they're having massive crashes and they're coming back for more. And... <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> I didn't see. I just had a bang. One by one, people just tech themselves off and just crashed so hard. I had a nightmare about this track, woke up sweating. <laughs> it's intimidating, you know? I'm having fun, but it's just like on the edge of your seat fun. The one hip jump, I thought I was going to be pretty dialed on being the BMX or not. I was like savage, <laughs> massive, over the bars. <laughs> Rung my bell pretty good. I don't know if trying to avoid Kai or not made it better or worse. It's hard to say. The stuff they're hitting is incredible. You wouldn't see guys hitting this stuff on any other race. That's sick! I feel all right now. Now I've got a few more under my belt. Kind of getting a bit more confident. I was terrified, not going to lie, but really good at the same time. What a thrill. It was quite cool to see everyone so committed and, and push so hard. At We're running the qualifying session as a, an open three-hour block. You know, the guys can just do as many runs as they want, and, and the fastest one counts. Yeah, it felt awesome getting down here. Yeah, I want to go and do another one now. I didn't do too good, unfortunately. Came in, blew out the corner, stupidly went for it anyway. The results were quite tight. It was me, then Joe, then Bernicke. I'm sure tomorrow they're just going to crack on and, and step up to the mark and, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what they can do, really. Having fun, pushing the limits, and um, hopefully the race goes well tomorrow. We're not scared. We're going to put it on the line and hopefully put on the show for these guys. Hello and welcome to Dinas Malthui in the Snowdonia National Park here in North Wales. This part of the world is something of a mountain biking mecca and today plays host to the hardest downhill race in the world, 
Red Bull Hardline. Alex Bond then, the unenviable first person down this course. And he survived practice, that's one big thing, but it's a very, very different story now. And he's carrying good speed. He's going to get over this nice and safely. Oh, he's oh. not! No, excuse me. Well, going to need a lawyer for a case like that. But Bond, you know, fair play to him. He's back on the bike. Oh, no, a flat tyre now. Just a bit gutted, really, a bit gutted to end it like that. But that's how it is. If I get an entry again next year, I'm definitely coming. So being a part of it is awesome. The 2011 national champion, Rory Cunningham, next to drop. Relishing the challenge. And these big jumps don't seem to be phasing him. I mean, you know, you're not national champion in the UK without being something very, very special on a bike. He spent more time on this mountain than perhaps anyone. Oh, my word. This is a huge run from Cunningham. Looks very fast. He looks in so much comfort and control here. Sends that big jump as well, lands deep on that. I'm sure he's going to go fastest. Yes, he does. Cutting him into the number one spot. What a run. Got a good time at the moment. So, um, yeah, there's a few guys left up there who are all fast. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where we end up. Bernard Kerr next to take to this Red Bull hardline course. Definitely one of the threats today. He might be the perfect package. It's going to be interesting to see what Kerr can do. Huge sender there, lands that safely. He goes out and he free rides. He does the things that are fun on a bike, you know, and he is supremely talented. Been a little bit slow in that top section has probably cost him. It's a nice, solid, flowing run from Bernie Kerr, but unfortunately, it's not enough. We'll see how I do, but that's a wild run. I'm so pumped to be here, like the Athertons and everyone that's worked so hard for it. Yeah, it's been a sick event. Joe Smith, 25 years of age. Finished fourth last year, so just off the podium. He's going to want to go at least one better here today. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him pull something special out of the bag. Great to see Smith dealing with these big jumps as well. Another seasoned World Cup rider. The man known as the Ginger Ninja. Some big style up over that hip there. Carrying good speed through these turns. It's all about momentum. He is pulling some time back here. Here he comes down the line. Oh, he goes in a second place. What a run on the track as gnarly as this, just to, just to get down in one piece is the main thing. Well, this is it then, the moment of truth. G Atherton, the clear favourite here, Rob. Fastest qualifier this year, and look at the pace of the man, supremely fit. Atherton wants this bad, he wants this so bad. So here he comes in and, well, he's shouting there, I think I heard a rim at the ground there. G Atherton goes out for the second year in succession with a flat tyre, and he is going to be devastated. Rory Cunningham, congratulations to him, of course. He's taken the win. Yeah, I'm really happy, you know. I mean, this track is just something else. We're pushing the limit of what's possible in a race run. At the same time, I mean, we all made it down safe. I think that proves that this is the direction the sport could go in, and we can really showcase what is possible on a mountain bike. Really kind of feel for G. He's got a puncture twice on this event, like the last two years, and um, he's been the man amongst boys. Um, over the last few days. He's definitely jumped things in front of me and kind of encouraged me to jump things and, and proved it's possible. So it's a real shame for him, but uh, yeah, to come away with the win is, uh, is unreal. Rory Cunningham goes on the 2015 Red Bull Hardline Champion.